The Struggle for Indian Independence, 1939 to 1944. Britain took India into the war against Germany in September 1939. Indian leaders met the Viceroy. Gandhi wanted to give Britain peaceful help during the war, and Jinnah wanted to help Britain if Muslims were helped. But Nehru and other younger leaders would not agree to help Britain unless freedom was promised. Gandhi traveled to Calcutta in 1940 to visit Charles Andrews, who was seriously ill. Andrews, who lived in Tagore's school, died a few months later. It was also Gandhi's last meeting with Tagore, who died in 1941. The Muslim League was becoming more and more popular with Muslims, and therefore Jinnah was becoming stronger. In 1940, the Muslim League agreed with Jinnah that it wanted a Muslim nation, separate from India. The Congress leader, Abul Kalam Azad, who was proud to be an Indian Muslim, did not want India to become two nations. He really wanted to talk to Jinnah, but Jinnah refused to meet with him. Many Indians began to disobey the British government again. Gandhi asked Vinoba Bhave to lead this satyagraha. Nehru, Patel, Azad, and other Congress leaders were arrested, and soon about 15,000 Indians were in prison. In 1941, America joined the war against Hitler. The Japanese army was fighting the British in China, and it was possible that the Japanese army would land in India. The Japanese army was fighting the British in China, and it was possible that the Japanese army would land in India. In August 1942, Gandhi spoke at a Congress meeting in Bombay. He told Congress that the British must leave India and that all Indians should behave like free men and women. We shall either free India or die in the attempt, he said. Gandhi spoke for a long time and then he returned to Birla House where he was staying with Kasturba, Mahadev Desai, and Pyaralal Nayar. That night, the police came to arrest Gandhi and other Congress leaders. Gandhi and Desai were taken by train to Pune. Then they were taken across the river Mula to the Grand Aga Khan Palace, with its large gardens, which the British had taken to use during the war. Nehru, Patel, Azad, and nine other Congress leaders were taken to Anednagar, a 16th century castle. They were able to meet and talk together while in prison there. Kasturba was arrested and taken to join Gandhi's group in prison. Mahadev Desai and Sarojini Naidu were with him, as well as Mira Slade, Dr. Sushila Nayar, Pyarilal's sister who had joined Gandhi in 1939, and Manu Gandhi, who came to live with her great-uncle in 1942 when she was 14 to help Kasturba. A few days after arriving at the Aga Khan Palace, Mahadev Desai died suddenly, aged 50. Desai had been Gandhi's secretary since 1917. He had worked closely with Gandhi and traveled with him all over India. Gandhi called Mahadev his son, and Kasturba said that Desai was Gandhi's left hand and his right hand. Twice a day while he was in prison, Gandhi took flowers to the place where Desai's ashes were buried. There was violence in many parts of India after the arrests. Police stations were burnt down, police were killed, and bombs were thrown at bridges. The police killed more than 1,000 people. The Viceroy blamed Gandhi for the violence, and Gandhi decided to fast for 21 days in February 1943 to prove that he wanted peace. Two doctors were allowed to look after Gandhi, who became seriously ill during the fast. Kasturba and the doctors thought that he was going to die, but after the fast, very slowly he became stronger. Kasturba was ill when she was sent to prison, and in December 1943 she became seriously ill. Her sons were allowed to visit her and doctors looked after her. In February 1944, Kasturba died in her husband's arms. Her death was terribly painful for Gandhi. Their marriage was unusual because since 1906 they had lived not as husband and wife but as part of an ashram. Kasturba did not always agree with Gandhi and he was sometimes angry with her. After Kasturba's death, Gandhi became ill and his friends and doctors were worried about him. The government did not want him to die in prison, and so they released him in April 1944. Slowly, Gandhi became stronger, and in August he returned to Sevagram Ashram.